In Italy, sex, politics, and Hollywood are taking center stage as Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi's prostitution and corruption trial opened this morning. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiea in London with the latest on the first day in court for us this morning. Kelly, good morning. Chris, good morning. If you blinked, you missed it. The hearing lasted all of seven minutes in Milan today. More than 200 members of the media from around the world were there for it, but the prime minister was not, and neither was the woman who could end his political career. She goes by the name Ruby Heartstealer, and she was only 17 when prosecutors say Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi paid her for sex at his villa. Prostitution is not a crime in Italy. Having sex with a minor is. But that is not the most serious charge. Berlusconi is accused of abusing the office of Prime Minister by using his power to get Ruby cleared of theft charges, a crime that could put him in jail for 12 years and ban him from political life. Both Berlusconi and Ruby deny having sex. Legal experts say those closest to the prime minister could be the ones who bring him down. Berlusconi is like the president of the United States. He's the prime minister. They'll be bodyguards. They could subpoena the testimony of the bodyguards. The trial promises to be every bit as Hollywood as the storyline. The glamorous Ruby, whose real name is Karima El Marug, is sure to be called to tell her tale, along with a cast of politicians and aspiring starlets from Berlusconi's now infamous Bunga Bunga sex parties. Even George Clooney could take the stand for the defense. He's admitted to being at the prime minister's villa, but only once to lobby for aid for Darfur. Berlusconi's best shot at beating the charges may lie in the hands of the country's highest court. It will decide whether the case should be heard in Rome instead, a trial by politicians, Berlusconi's politicians. These are buddies of Berlusconi, that it's the, uh, that it's the forces in power, the ministers that he's appointed or were, who were appointed during his administration. It could take weeks for the high court to make a decision on that. So in the meantime, this trial in Milan will go forward, not in front of a jury, but in front of a panel of three female judges. The next court date, May 31st. Erica, Chris. CBS's Kelly Kobiea in London for us this morning. Kelly, thank you.